What's up guys, this is for college prep math, but this is content that's related to algebra one and algebra two. In this question, typical question off of the ACT, maybe a lower level one, but still one that's gonna challenge you. Solving consecutive integer problems. When it, we talk about a consecutive integer, we're talking about numbers that are repeated like next to each other, like three, four, five. Those are three numbers that are following each other in a row, therefore we call them consecutive integers. The question that I'm presenting to you is find three consecutive even numbers. So there's our integers, they're even numbers, and they sum to 60. That would mean something like two, four, six. They're consecutive, there's three of them. They're consecutive because if you make a list of them, they are next to each other. So that's what we mean by consecutive, a list of numbers that are next to each other. This question pops up because it's one of those layers of problems. Not only do you need to understand what consecutive integers means, you're gonna need to use some algebra to set up an equation and solve along the way. You might get lucky. The question might be like one where you could just be like, oh, it's uh, 10, 12, and 14, and you're done. And guess and check might work, and that's totally fine. I want to share with you a method that doesn't require guess and check. Three consecutive even numbers. Let's say, for example, that we don't know what that number is. So the first number is uh, x. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. I just know that it's x. So it could be 10, and then the next number after that would be two more higher than that. It'd be x plus 2. And the number after that one, right, 10, 12, and 14, just my example, 10, to get to 12, we have to add 2. And to get to 14, we have to take 10, and we have to add 4. Mind you, that's just my example. But all of these types of problems, three consecutive even numbers, like x plus 2, x plus 4, those are the locations, the starting points for us to solve the problem. So now what I have is 18 and x, or not 18, I have x and I have x plus 2 and I have x plus 4. I wonder if I'm thinking of the answer. If I take those numbers and add them together, the answer will be 60. So let's set up an equation. The equation will be x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4. Notice my use of parentheses. They're not really necessary, but they are nice to let you know. This is the first integer that we're talking about. This is the next one up that is the next even number up. And then this one is the next even number up after that one. Again, always initializing with this first number. We don't know what that is, but when we find it, we'll know our three numbers. Now, simplifying the equation, uh, because the parentheses really don't do anything, I can go ahead and remove them. And so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and just Pop those out of there. Sorry for the extra rewrite I'm going to have to do. But the parentheses don't do much for us because they're not really grouping things under multiplication or other orders of operation. But we do have now, with weird rewrite, combining like terms. So x plus x, skipping the two, plus x, that's three x's. Now, including the two, that would be two plus four. I mean, there's a zero right here, so I'm not going to acknowledge it, but I, other than that equals 60. Now, um, here is a two-step problem. In other words, do one thing, do one more thing, and we have our answer. So one thing is minus 6 from both sides. That would be 3x equals 54. And then, using uh, you know the last step of a two-step problem, divide both sides by 3. x does equal 18, spoiler alert, although spoiler acknowledgement. Now, if that's the first of the consecutive numbers, we can automatically know what the next even number up is just by counting. But if you needed to, you could take that number and put it back up into what we did here. You could do 18, 18 plus 2, 18 plus 4. Does that work? 18, 18 plus 2, and 18 plus 4. When you add them together, do we get 60? 8 plus 2 is 10. Carry the 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You know they count the ends of the number trick, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, it is actually 60. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, see you in the next one.